ever stared at the Al Bahar Towers in Abu Dhabi and wondered, how is this even possible? What if I told you these aren't just buildings, they're algorithms in motion? Hidden beneath that shimmering facade are 2,000 hexagonal shapes programmed to track sun like a sunflower and slashing solar heat gain by half. Sounds like magic, right? Well, there's no magic here, just computational design. The invisible force that is reshaping our world. Stick with me as we uncover the fascinating role of computational designers and how they're shaping the future of design. Let's rewind a bit. What is computational design? Imagine you're designing a garden. You add trees here, pathways there. Simple, right? Now, what if you had to write a universal rule book for every garden in your city? A rule so precise, they guarantee that every plant thrives, every path stays shaded, and no two gardens look the same. Well, that's computational design. It's not about creating one thing, it's about creating the logic that builds the infinite things. Which brings us to the next question. What's in a computational designer's toolkit? Well, these are three superpowers. First, computational thinking. They turn chaos into code. Take the Beijing National Stadium, the bird's nest. Its 42,000 tons of tangled steel looks random. But algorithms optimized every beam, trimming material cost by 15% while making it withstand a 9.0 magnitude earthquake. Chaos? No, it's calculated chaos. Second, data-driven decision. Think of it as a digital crystal ball. Before Airbus builds a plane wing, they simulate 10,000 iterations. The result, you ask? The plane components are 45% lighter yet stronger, cutting CO2 emission equivalent to taking 100,000 cars off the road annually. Data isn't just numbers, it's the difference between good enough and revolutionary. Third, mastery of tools. They speak the language of machines. Take the ETN Zurich DFAB house, a three-story building 3D printed by robots in 60% lesser time with zero human error. Or Amsterdam's MX3D bridge, 12 meter of flowing steel, printed in mid-air by robotic arm. This isn't construction, it's actually code made physical. So, where do these computational designers actually work? Let's be clear, they're not hiding in some Silicon Valley basement, they're everywhere, quietly rewriting the rules of how we are building everything. In architecture, You'll find them setting up parametric workflows to streamlining complex geometries and optimizing building performance. In engineering, on the other hand, they're running advanced stress simulation on products, ensuring efficiency and resilience. If you look at construction, they're designing intelligent systems and automation processes that make building faster, more precise, and less wasteful. In fashion, they're experimenting with generative design to create adaptive clothing and innovative fabric structure. But here's the big question. Why is this role so important now? Why does this all matter now? Because we are hurtling towards a tipping point where our world isn't just changing, it's mutating. Cities are denser, resources are scarce, and climate disasters are more ruthless. Traditional designs, it's a flip phone in the age of AI. Computational designers are the missing upgrade. They're not just solving problems, they're rewriting the rules of survival. They're not just shaping the future, they're building it, one algorithm at a time. Interested in making a career in computational design? Check out our next video, where we cover topics like job description, roles, career trajectory, and much more, which will bring more insights towards the career of a computational designer. Follow, share, and subscribe Novator for more such insights around computational design.